get a million dollars even this all week no days off this hard work gonna pay y'all i made myself a promise young i would never work a day job put it in the safe never know when i'm gonna need that came here with my gang you don't know where your homies at this Lion fan base have been craving home playoff football since this building opened in 2002, and they've got it today at Ford Field in Detroit. Today, it's the second of three games here on Wild Card Sunday, as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Detroit Lions. For the second of three games here on this Sunday, we continue with Super Wild Card Weekend here on EA Sports. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Ritter cannot escape and they bring him down. Gotta hope that's not a sign of things to come as they face an early second and long. Here's Ritter. A complete to Drake London. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A run for the first time with B. John Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Back to throw, Ritter. Man up it is Robinson. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A gain there of 30 big ones. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll pitch it to Robinson. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Ritter with it after the play fake. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. And certainly, look, you're on the road in the playoffs. That is a suboptimal start, opening drive INT. And, partner, sometimes I wonder, do these teams talk about it to such an extent that maybe you almost talk yourself into the turnover when you're trying to avoid it? Yeah, maybe they get a little too worried about keeping the football, and then you give it to the other team right off the bat. And, look, we said it on the road. This is just a terrible, terrible start for them. It is, and now they've got to rely on their defense. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and nine. Here's Hooker to throw it. That's caught. It's Sam LaPorta. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Hooker to throw on first and ten. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. 
The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Now a second and 10. Motion man is Schwartz. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Now Hooker. He gets this out wide right to Gibbs. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. And they'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Motion man is Schwartz. Trying to throw again here. Hooker. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. He is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. Looking to throw, Hooker. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. Hooker now off play action. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Bud Dupree. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Falcon defense has a touchdown. But well, what a response by that defensive unit, Charles, because they just saw their offense throw the interception. They come out there, not only get an interception of their own, but they take it back for the touchdown. I won't sing it because no one wants to hear that, but perhaps in early case of anything you can do, I can do better between these defenses. A lot of people came to expect the offense to light this game up, but so far, the defenses are stealing the show. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And tackled at the 21-yard line. So a net negative there of four yards. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And you wonder, I mean, is it even possible, especially for the quarterback, to mentally reset after that quick of a turnaround? Well, we're certainly going to find out, aren't we? Because that play will stay in your mind, but somehow you have to compartmentalize. Put it aside, pick yourself up, and get moving in the right direction. And this is what you want to do in the first half of a playoff game. Get the running game established. He was a big part of their run to a division title. So they're going to rely on him to carry a heavy load here in the playoffs. He rips off a nice run there. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Hooker. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. But he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense the credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. Second and 10. Throwing. 
Hooker. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And the Falcons are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Short throw caught by Pitts. Second down and four. And the tight end goes in motion left. Off the play fake. It's Ritter. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. Still fighting for more. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 15 yards, first down Atlanta. Final 30 seconds of this first quarter, and it's been a quarter dominated by the guys with the football. On first and 10, it's Robinson. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Ritter looking to throw on first and 10. Crossing route and complete. He's got Pitts. Touchdown, Falcons. Kyle Pitts from 21 yards away. And the Falcons have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Crew able to connect on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. But the crowd go. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on that one. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Hooker now on first down. Man open, that's Anthony Schwartz. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Hooker. He's got it with the 15. A big play there from the Detroit. 44 yards. They'll run with Gibbs. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Gibbs again, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Jameer Gibbs. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Lions have cut it back within a score. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups remember the offense scored a touchdown and the last time there he goes left side and he's going to be out of bounds but not before he takes it inside the 40 
48 yards rushing for him now. And he's only carried the ball four times. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Back to Robinson now on first down. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They'll run again here with Robinson. Trying to get out wide, but he's going to be tackled right near the line of scrimmage. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. A quick throw here out wide to Pitts. And the ball is knocked out. And that will get out of bounds. Lucky there. They keep possession inside the five. Thankfully for the offensive, fortuitous bounce there on the fumble goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. You don't want to lose one. And the best part, because it went out of bounds, they retain possession, still have an opportunity to put points on the board. They'll run with Robinson. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. From the two now, second and goal. And Ritter, he wants to change the play here. Robinson again, trying to find a lane, but he finds nothing but defenders. Stop for no gain at the two-yard line. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. This is a big play in this wild card matchup, facing third and goal. He's got his man, London, right side. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage back to the four yard line. It'll be a loss of two on the play. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They can't hook up on fourth and goal from the four. And the Lion defense able to come up there with a goal line stand. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And now their defense came through with the goal line stand, got them the ball back. See what they can do about putting a drive together. Long way to go. They need to reward that defense. A goal line stand, they've got to make that stand up themselves, right? Give the defense a chance to catch their breath on the sidelines. At least get two first downs. Three would be better. Change field position. Let them catch their breath. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Boy, a pair of big plays here. This one going for 29. First and ten, here's Gibbs. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 68 yards rushing for him in this first half as he has certainly carried over his regular season success into the playoffs. Second down, and they go back to Gibbs. And they bring him down at the 18-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, 
but that's all they needed. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Another run for Gibbs here. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the lot of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Meanwhile, Hooker's throw complete there to St. Brown. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. On third down, Hooker. He's got his man. It's caught for a land touchdown. to coast and finish the drive off with six points. A try here for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense, and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Second down throw coming for Ritter. Time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. This now a third and four. Going play action. Ritter forced out to his left. Uncorks one for Davis. All right. Complete touchdown, Falcons. A great effort there. 69 yards. And the Falcons will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And the lead is now 21 14. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he will find his man Schwartz. That's complete. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Motion man is Schwartz. Go, 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 go. 
Off play action. Here's Hooker. They'll let this go deep for St. Brown. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Richie Graham. And the Falcons are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. Final play before the half. Here's Ritter. to the end of this first half of play. So we come upon halftime here in this NFC wild card matchup as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon set and ready to rock for the third quarter. One of these two teams about to play their final half of the season as we're back at it in this NFC wild card bout. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And Charles, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lines on the line. And I think when you're alluding to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering how are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to look to lean on the veterans at this point. We know we're better than this. We've proved it all season. Let them disseminate that confidence through the locker room. But this opening drive, it'll be an important one for them to give them a little joint confidence moving forward. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Khalil Mack just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Don't need it all back at once. But you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. going to throw it. He's got this to Williams complete. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. So now then the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now. First and 10. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Working out of the shotgun, Hooker. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. And this is good. From 57 yards out, that is Barnes away right there. And that'll bring him back within four. 
So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't miss your turn on offense. I like the way you phrased it. Here he goes left side. And this will be a Falcons first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. First down, here's Ritter. Open man downfield is Davis. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown, Falcons. A great play there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Falcons are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Ku able to connect on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Following the touchdown, here's Ku to kick off. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kick that can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And quickly, they get to the line. From the gun, it's Hooker. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Gibbs. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Here's Hooker to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 12-yard line. Looking to throw, Hooker. They'll roll him out right. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try to get those yards a safer way. Trying to throw again here. Hooker. There's the pullback. He's got it. Touchdown, Lions. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions are back within a score. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he will get into the end zone to cut the lead down to a single point. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive 
Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Ritter with it after the play fake. And incomplete on the deep ball. But you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the pick down right back because your friend, the old momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trip to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Ritter throwing on third down. That one deep for London. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him. As it is, it'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Lions will have excellent field position here as they take over first and 10. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Hooker. He's airing it out for Williams. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. Hooker. That pass caught. It's Williams. Touchdown, Detroit. Jamison Williams. Taking the lead here in this third quarter. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will make this a four point game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time it's going to get a nice drive. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. Ritter and the Falcons need an answer and a big play here on third and long following the sack. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Under pressure and they got to him again. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. They're going for this. Here's Ritter. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A gain of 26 and a conversion there as well on fourth down. 
Carver. One quarter remains in this NFC wild card matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Falcons. They'll have the football, but trailing on the scoreboard as we get set to begin the fourth. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. 84 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. From the 43, it's second and three. Back to throw, Ritter. And now the ball's out, fumbled near midfield. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. You can admire his willingness to sacrifice his body to try and pick up the first down, and I do. But let's face it, you know his coaches are going to warn him about diving or extending for a marker for this exact reason. So much easier to have the ball knocked free when you're extended like that. So if you're going to dive, you've got to make sure you secure the football, which you didn't. And in for the Lions, touchdown. Jamison Williams, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Lions use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. Extra point right down the middle. And that pushes the lead up to 11. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. If they want to advance in this divisional round, look, obviously the time is now. Trailing here in the fourth as they go to work on a crucial, crucial drive, first and ten. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Ritter will set up to throw it. This one hauled in, and again, it's Robinson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Ritter now on second down. That's out wide here for Robinson. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 
The Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Ritter on first and ten. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. Five yards, now it's third and five. into double coverage and intercepted. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Offense out there for their next drive. And they are most likely staring at a cold end to their season here in this wild card round. Nothing has gone right so far. And they are, to be frank, in desperation mode now as they begin with a first and ten. I think if they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Now we'll throw here to his running back. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And this one drops incomplete, but I think the defense jumped. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Ritter now. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're gonna have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Meanwhile, Ritter's throw gonna be caught by Davis. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Off the play fake, it's Ritter. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. Oh, this is intercepted. They get Ritter for the third time. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. Still going inside the 20. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Lions. Touchdown. Extra point forthcoming. coming. 
and they open the lead up now to 25 points. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against it. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. Now the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And at this point, maybe you say, you know, it was a good effort really just to make the playoffs. They couldn't win their division, but did earn a wild card berth. It does appear, however, that their season is just a few minutes away from ending in one-and-done fashion. Here's second and ten. Ritter completes this quickly, and he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. I thought that was a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30. It's a gain of 16, first down Falcons. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably is A.J.